He came to where he was sitting at that time, which is across from me answering questions about allegations. So first of all, I asked him about how he built his company from managing around $3 million back in the mid-1990s to the OSC's claim that he raised approximately $60 million from 2006 to 2008. Is, it is a big money. Uh, I, for 10 years, or actually for, for 15 years, I spent lots of time on regulation issues, legal issues, rather than on the market, because this is too much burden for small investors like us. I, I raised $60 million in three years. It's something, you know, one thing is that's the investor, what the investor need. The second is, see, you see my investor? They all are credit investor, not the public, general public. Now, when you raised that $60 million in just three years, how did you raise that money? Where did that money come from? You know, I, you know, I have, uh, in the beginning, I have lots of uh, uh, good experience, and success, successful story, and people like me, you know. The other thing is the money comes from all the business uh, uh, people from Canada, you know, but not Canadian, most, you know, say, the old immigrants from China, the Chinese immigrants from uh, U.S., you know, some... Your client some, base, mostly Chinese immigrants? Yeah, 99%. Uh, <laughs> and how did you tap into that community? Because it's a growing community in Canada and the United States. Yeah. They arrive and they know about you. How? Yeah, I'm, the first thing is this. I... I I came here earlier than everybody else, you know, the, before the, most people come, you know. The second is in, I'm the one who are uh, in the market, you know, I, I talk the language people love to hear. The language people know this is, uh, you know, something. So I, I know everything in the market. I know what the investors need to succeed. Are you at this point in time an accredited financial advisor, an accredited portfolio manager? Yeah. No, at uh, this time, I, I don't know what to, to say this. I spend lots of time on regulation on the legal things, uh, credential, credentials. You know, the things uh, I, so I found out that there is a, a president of a brokerage firm, and uh, he, you know, trying to, Introduced me to his to be his client, so he gave me the offer referendum. You know the mm -hmm. prospectors, you know the private ones. So I, I, when I look at this, oh, this is, looks good. You know, so I use that one. So I it says if you manage small group of people, or the people you know well, you know well, not in the general public. So, uh, and also uh, accredited investor like hedge fund is not mm -hmm. regulated. So, because OSC want to be regulated, it's fine, but the only problem for them is that they want to find somebody, you know, Ponzi, you know. That's what it is. Because otherwise, OSC... Well, let's stick with the, the, the uh, Ponzi allegations, because that's uh, central. You mentioned the legal issues and how difficult they are right now. There are 12 allegations against you in Canada right now, yeah. um, perhaps the most serious of which is that you were taking money from new investors to pay older investors. That's, uh, how do you respond to that? That's very interesting. Everybody, you know, this is... A, my case is 100% not, not Ponzi. Because the new the, the new invest the, the new money to not a new investor the old one that's the mean for Ponzi schemer you know who use that scheme Ponzi you need to be that's the only thing they do right to be you know I I, I don't know any Ponzi before you know so what I, I know is everything from the market you know so what I learned is. To be, I don't know anything about Ponzi. After I be, you know, be charged by OSC, I know. Then I studied Ponzi. So when I studied Ponzi, how can you do not know what is the Ponzi it is? But, Ponzi but the, has to be the motivation, you know, the purpose and the motivation. And then the Ponzi has no mean to make money for investor. The only way is make one investor's money to another 
to benefit for the personal benefit. I don't have anything on this. The only thing is, you know, it's a phenomenon. Every bank, all the institution, you know, use one money, you know, use one money to, a, uh, to another. But that's not a Ponzi, you know. But the, the money that is coming in from your new clients who are attracted by the website mm -hmm. and, and your returns, historical returns, did any of that money ever end up going to some of the older clients, whether you call it a Ponzi scheme or whatever? But were you, or at some point, necessarily taking some money from new investors to pay off some of the older this investors? Is, uh, this is uh, actually... Uh, you know, people misunderstand and focus on this. This is, you know, it, this is just only a phenomena. It's not a fundamental thing, you know. So it's not a Ponzi, you know. I'm not sure I understand the difference between a phenomenon a rather than a fundamental thing. Yeah, phenomena because for always like just like I, when I go to OIC, you know, the Jeff Thompson, the, the senior investigator, he say, "Did you, you know, he's he." It, it was him who was anxious to get a Ponzi, you know, scheme, found a Ponzi scheme. But you cannot make everything Ponzi, you know. If, I, if, if ever me being charged or be do as a Ponzi, so all the financial institution is a Ponzi, you know. But all of the returns that your older investors are getting, whether it's from returns in the market or elsewhere, the returns that they're getting is a, a fraction of that, a portion of that, coming from the new money that is coming in from that's new a, clients, a, or are all of the returns is, coming from market you know, performance? This is the, for, for, the, for, your, for your news, uh, you know, that all, people want, you know, tricking on this new money. Did you put new money to old money? This is not the question, you know. But it's a question but a lot actually, of people are I, interested in, this in is, an answer to. This is, you know, actually, if we have, you know, I, I write a few articles on this, you know, what is, what Ponzi look like, what Ponzi should be, what, what Ponzi, but mine, 100% not Ponzi, you know. There's nothing to do with Ponzi. Ponzi people do not know the market. I know the market so well. You ask anybody in the market, who know better than me, you know, who know where the market move, who call the market. You know, on my website, you know, the oil, the Goldman Sachs say the oil will be over $150 to eight. I said, there's no way going there now. This is the time the market is the top. I'm going to short it. It's 146. I'm short oil with more hole in my heart. And then on March 6th, I called the, the, the world market at the bottom. Nobody would do that. You see my website. I know so much you know, timing and so much things about the market and so much timing of the market. Nobody else comparable to me. You know, if you have any, if you found any system in the market, you know, how to time in the market, no, nothing compared to mine, you know. So that's what I, you know, I sell my, you know, I, I try to raise my, my money, you know, to do the things I want to do and to pay, to make the money for investor. You know, and that's, for Ponzi is the only way you use other people's money. I, that's a little stupid to me. You know? But what about, the, what about the, the money? 40 to $60 million allegedly lost in the, uh, your, your that's company. God, that's money is, flow. Is that money available to pay investors back? Which one? The 60, 40 to 60 million. Will your investors get all it's of their easy. money no, back? The money actually, you know, the, the, the people, you know, after the accounting, people will know that most of the money already paid the investor back. The only thing, that, you know, the, the, the money I, I, I promised to people is not, because I haven't, you know, I, I have not done the volume I, I wanted yet. Because this is a strategic move. You, the other things I tell you, you know, most people think about, uh, you know, the fraud, the Ponzi things. People do not know how much money I use, you know. I use a little money or no money of investors. So that's tell something big. You know, when my forensic accounting say, forensic accounting, I had a very famous forensic accounting says, if you ask all the reporter, or newspaper, newspaper reporter or reporter from anywhere, 
come to your house. You see, no Ponzi live a house like this. Ponzi is to raise the money for the luxury lifestyle, to benefit their own. I do not benefit anything if I do not make money for my investor. The most interesting for me part of all of that is the discussion about you know, he's making money for his investors, that's what he argues, but the definition of, uh, of Ponzi, it got a little uh, foggy there, I thought. <laughs> his, his interpretation, understanding of the definition of Ponzi. His, his definition was perhaps a little bit more clear. It was difficult because he went on and on about it. But all the money from new investors has to go to the older investors in terms of his definition, which is why I asked him if any money went that way, and he said that's not the point, <laughs> uh, which is a, a very interesting